lot of ships out here at the anchorage. Okay, off to our starboard forward here is a tanker vessel. And these ships are all just sitting on anchor right now, waiting to go into the port, just like we are. Galveston, Texas, heading back to the Gulf of Mexico. Okay, so I'm down in the shop here, and I've got the original piece here. And this is what just locks it in place, this little tab. So I went in the, where we keep all our metal, and I got a, a piece of round stock. It's about the same dimension, same girth as this here. And I've already got it marked, so I'm just gonna use a, a hacksaw here, and uh, we'll cut it, because it's really small. So it's easy, I don't need a power saw. So I'm gonna cut this, and then we're gonna bend it 
and then I'll cut a little uh, metal tab and we'll weld it in place and then uh, we'll go from there. I just got done cleaning it on the wire wheel. The metal I'm gonna use, it's nice and shiny. So now we're gonna go ahead and bend it to make this design right here. I'll just do that in the vise. Should be very easy. It's small enough that I can easily bend it without heat. Okay, so here we go. It's bent 90 degrees. Basically, it's the same. So we'll fabricate a little tab like this, and we'll measure it out, weld it right here, and then I'll spray paint it red because it looks like it was originally red on the handle. So we just want to duplicate the original version. And uh, that's all we need to do. And then we'll be done. We'll take it up and mount it. I got my little piece cut out here with a notch, and that's going to go about right there, just like this one, and it's going to come down flush with that. Uh, I made it so the notch is about the same size as the pipe or the piece of round stock. So we're going to go ahead and weld it on right about there. And then all we have to do is spray paint it. That's about it. So let's get it welded up here. Okay, so I put a little mark right here, right there. That's the part that's going to go in the, in the hole or the notch. So basically all you have to do is hold it just like this and fill it in with the weld. And that's all we need to do. So I need to get the welder set here. I just turned it on. Here it comes. And I got my hood up here, my favorite one. And we'll go ahead and weld it in place. So I just finished welding it up. I flattened off the very end so I could put a hole through it. That's what we'll keep it connected up there so we don't lose it. And it's all welded on here. And uh, I put some tape on because I'm gonna spray paint it red like the old one was at the handle end right here. And we'll be good. And then we'll try to take it up and mount it. So project done. We went from this riggedy old thing that's falling apart to the upgraded version. So I'm just letting the spray paint dry. And then we'll take it up to the bridge wing and we will install it. Okay, so here we are on the starboard bridge wing. Turned out beautiful. it in here and that holds it in place. Okay, so there it is, back in position where it's supposed to be. So that's going to be it for this project.